just about right there. That should be good. We're chilling. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Can you hear the music okay? Let's turn that up a little bit. I want to hear that. Cool. Let's bring up the chats. So this is what I got today is a couple RC bodies and then I have a lot kind of a it's like a rear window liner cover for a Corvette the most amazing Corvette I've ever seen in my life I must say right off the bat that, that I don't know if you guys remember that shark liner I painted not that long ago um, it's a Corvette hood liner underneath you know uh, that car it, oh man I hope he brings it back to pick this I did I didn't have my phone on me and I was in so much in shock about the fucking car that I totally forgot to like get a video or a picture or any I was we were just looking at, at his car for a good 15 minutes and it never even occurred to me to like get my phone out or nothing and I'm sad so I hope he brings it back so I can show you guys uh, the Corvette on the car as well as put this piece that I'm going to be painting today for him uh, so that he's like because I mean, that, that car is straight up amazing my guy I, I didn't even know I like you know I've painted on some cool stuff but that has to be like the sickest car it looks like a god dang like I mean, it basically is a goddamn Lambo, but it it, it doesn't even it looks like a Corvette from the future. I don't know what kind of car that is, man. It's sick. It's a Z06. It has freaking it has like carbon fiber everything. Everything on the car was like carbon fiber. Um, it was supercharged. It sounded ah oh, man. I just wish I just wish I could see it again. So I just laid out some tape here and I'm just going to cut out this design that I want. This guy kind of told me, you know, I've done RC bodies for him and the crawler body I did the other day was for him. Uh, but he pretty much told me he wants the same colors as his last race bodies, uh, but the design he'd leave up to me. So I'm kind of just doing something here that I think would look cool and hopefully it does <laughs> I'm sure it will look pretty dope because, yeah. but anyway before we get all ahead of ourselves let's go ahead and put the window masks on yeah what's up brother Jonathan Thomas Thomas oh Thomas watching from the Canary Islands What's up, Todd Bemis? Yo, right on, man. Thank you for sharing it out. It's Today's stream is nothing special. We're, I'm just taking a break from being out in the garage sanding, and I still have more to sand, and I'm just taking a break from that today to get some of these other projects out, which is these bodies and that Corvette liner. Oh, man, I should... I need to message him and, and ask him if he could bring it back when he picks up his his thing so that I could take a video this boy I, I'm I don't know I don't even know how much a car is like a car like that is worth my guy it's worth a lot of money because it's not just the Corvette it's like the Z06 and I'm pretty sure it has like every option on it I'm telling you, everything on it was like carbon fiber. I was, dude, I was just do, like box circles around it. I couldn't wipe the smile off my face. And, like, uh, and he's all like, "Yeah, look at your shark," and I'm just like, "Bro, look at your car. Like, what?" Um, but he really liked the artwork that we did the shark for him. 
and he said that he's kind of displayed the car a few places already and the shark he said, for some reason he says the shark gets more attention than the car you know people already walk up because they see the car and then they see the shark you know when he opens the hood and it just wow you know and just adds that extra effect i know i was just amazed at the car itself so i have to i have to ask him to bring it back so i hope everybody's having a good day we're just like yeah, like i said we're just working that's why it says today's work in the, in the the title because we're just chilling working today obviously we got the we got the createx colors up here and we got the hd stencils uh angles there you go right there you know so that uh they be sponsoring the competition and they're helping out so What's up, Chris? How's it going? Chili vanilla, yep, pretty much, man. Now we have them taped up. And so what I've done down here, actually I could probably just cut these down to about there. So I can just pull this up. And I've kind of cut out these V's, you see? They're streamers. Cut me out some streamers. It's really good. Oh, I feel like that. All right, cool. Put that in there. Take that piece off. See? See those uh, those streamers coming towards the back, right? We got those. 
same thing on the other side. Yo, what's good, Eliza? Oh, yeah, you're gonna really like it when you pick them up. That crawler looks sick. I laid the clear on it, the top coat, and then I did the interior. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna post pictures until after you pick it up. So <laughs> you get to be surprised. So, what's up, Ashley Thompson? Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's up, bro? How's it going? What's up, Ron Chorus? What's up, Dennis? What's up? All right, look at that. See, I'm like pre-cutting the tape down here and then just transferring it over. It makes it so easy. You get those... Those designs in there super quick, right? So, uh, then we want some for the top. But look, we only got we only got one left. So uh, we could just we could cut these tips off here. And we might use these, so just leave those there. But we're gonna make ourselves with these other with the rest of the tape here. We're just gonna go ahead and make ourselves some more. And when you have a mat like this, like it has the inches marked off, so I'm, I'm doing these about an inch and a half long. All right, so it's because it's already kind of marked off for you. You just gotta like follow the lines. And it helps, that's, that's another thing this mat helps with, right? So it's like, because you want it to be kind of exactly, well, no, you don't want it to be exactly the same, but you want it to be kind of the same. I, that's, that's the right here. So. Right, so now we have these other pieces. So let's take this one first. Then we can put these streamers in. Masking the best part. Yeah, oh yeah. This is my favorite guy. <laughs> satisfying things but also one of the most frustrating things because masking something reverse it is actually quite quite annoying but when you do it just right and you get and you unmask it and you get all the finished results it's like one of the most satisfying feelings the dopamine rush from seeing it all like perfect on the outside even though you did all the work on the inside it's kind of weird that looks good. Oh, oh yeah. See that? Now we got the three streamers on the top. Three streamers on the side. Three streamers on the top. And then look, I'm gonna take these extra points that we had here. And just to make it easy, I'm going to use these points in between the streamers there. Oh, it looks good. It, it's basically what you said. It just it looks really good. You're gonna be you're gonna like it. I 
I should have done something crazy like brown leather or something. That would have been really cool. It looks good. The tinted windows look really good. And actually, I totally forgot about the tinted windows and I could have done that on stream. And I do remember somebody said, hey, you should unmask the windows. And I was like, why would I unmask the windows? And I was like, oh wait, I need to unmask the windows because I got to tint them. And yeah. But they came out really good too. Okay. trying so hard to make jaggedies. Show me, man. You can wait till you see it. It's good. I'm good. Just said it was a surprise. It's going to be nicer. Yo, Eliza, why do you put a question mark? Why do you keep putting question marks? Stop putting question marks, bro. It sounds like you're confused about everything. And you're confusing me on if you're confused or not. And I'm starting to pick up on that you use question marks like exclamation points, but you have the wrong one. Stop using question marks. <laughs> I'm just going to call you straight out. Stop using the question marks. I don't know what you, why the question marks all the time. And I'm pretty sure you don't even realize what you're doing. Yeah, I know it's a symbol, my guy, but it means that you're confused or that you're trying to get information. It means that it's a question when you're using it as an exclamation point, meaning that you're excited. But it sounds really weird when you read something excited as a question and, and it's like, what? <laughs> Cooler background sound. You like, is that music? Is it pretty good today? So now we have all them jaggeds all over the place. Simple, nothing too crazy. And I actually just remembered I need my masking paper. Oh, I have some here, so that'll work. But it's true what Ashley said, if it's like others, it's going to be nicer. I don't know if you don't understand, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so that's why it's confusing, my guy. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm trying to help you out. Anyway, um, here we have this buddy. We're gonna do the same thing, we're just gonna keep streamers here we're gonna put maybe two streamers on this one uh, I'm just being real bro Don't, I'm confused about your statements
Go. Go alone with it. Question mark. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Go alone with it. I think. I, I don't know. And then you throw a question mark. And no, it's not like using a skull at the end. The only thing that is like using a skull at the end is using the skull at the end. Especially on this channel where it is the skull squad, my guy. It is not the question mark squad. It is the skull squad. <laughs> oh my god. Coming to the skull squad channel and disrespect me, son? Get out of here. There is no replacement for the Skull Squad. Especially not a question mark. Get out of my face. Get out of my face! What are you doing outside, Dennis? Out outside is where the Rona hangs out, man. What are you doing outside? <laughs> You're at Popeyes? <laughs> nice. Oh, dude, it is Tuesday, right? Do they still do the, the two times Tuesday? Is that what it's called? Where it's like two pieces of chicken and a biscuit or something like that? $1.99? That was our jam on Tuesdays in Houston. I love me some Popeyes. The tender box, $10. But on Tuesdays, they have like $2. Is it Wednesday? Nah, dude, it wasn't it Tuesday? No, I'm pretty sure it was Tuesdays. They do the $2, the two for Tuesdays, man. Jesus, why am I thinking so hard? This, this is the two for Tuesdays, we're on Tuesdays. And it's $2, you get two drumsticks, or a drumstick and, and a piece of thigh, or whatever, and then a biscuit. Popeye is expensive? I don't know, man. I feel like all the fried chicken places are about the same. And I like them all. I feel like they all have their own distinct way. And I ain't hating. All of them are good. <laughs> it's way better than I can make any fried chicken at home, so I like them all. If I was like a fried chicken master right then I'd be like, mm, this fried chicken's not up to my standards. But I'd be like, nah, to me it's just like, this is really good. 
You need more food than that. Oh man. What? Well, that was the thing. We used to get like six of them. <laughs> we, used to, we used to go in there and be like, I get two, you get two, you get two, and then we we get a drink, you know, with each of it. I mean, it was still really good. <laughs> I like the fact that it came with a biscuit, bro. Don't judge me. Anyway, we're gonna take some paper now. A six piece sounds good too. <laughs> Six tenders, two sides, two biscuits, ten dollars. I guess. The other way you'd get six pieces of chicken. If you ordered, see if you ordered six of them, no, five of them, it'd be ten dollars, right? You'd get what, ten pieces of chicken and five biscuits. The value, brother. The value, where is the value? Which one is worth more? I don't know. But then that one probably comes with drink. So you, you still gotta get a drink with the, with the money away. But like back then, we was hooked on like Red Bulls and stuff. So a lot of times we would be like, I'm getting my own drink anyway. And we wouldn't care about no drink. Especially if you can get drinks at McDonald's for 99 cents. And if you're already out driving around, like you're gonna drive by at McDonald's regardless. So it's like, fuck it. It'd be really that hard up for me. <laughs> and nowadays, I'd recommend people drink water anyway. Fuck, fuck soda pop. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. See that? That's expertise. Knowing not how to get the, the tape all stuck in itself. Did you see that shit? It was so close to being all entangled in itself. That's the kind of stuff I'm amazed. I, I'm like over here grinning at that. Cause I was like, I seen that tape all like across it. I was like, oh no. And then it like whipped up. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> I'm stupid like that. All right. Okay. So, this doesn't have any more paper. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to get the rest of this tape off of here. Pull up these colors again. It's expensive? Papa's is expensive? Like, what do you think by expensive? Like, because don't they have like boxes like everywhere else?
awesome. Let's see these colors here. Cool, cool. going to do some color blends. So I'm going to do white to fluorescent yellow here on the back, right? Yep. And then when it comes to the front, I'm going to do black off of the edges here. And then we're going to do raspberry off the front. But we're just going to do black on these edges here. But with the pearlized white, we're going to lay a design in and then lay our colors over, over that. So. <clears throat> Last time I used the spider web on this stuff. So I don't want to do that. I do have this digital camo stencil. I do think we could do some of this going around. I like to dip my fries in my mash in the gravy. What? Yes. Don't get it stuck in your head again. Don't get what stuck in your head. What did I do? So again, I'm just going to take this. We're going to kind of hit some of those designs all up in here. And then we're going to come ahead and lay our colors over, which in this case will be white and fluorescent yellow in the back. So, start off by mixing up a little pearl. The pearl flat, yeah, the pearl flat. And I'm gonna use probably what's left of this mat before we open up the big bottle there. Check my phone. that stuck in your head all day or what? That's funny, dude. Now you're going to have to watch Django again. I was watching Django this morning. Django Unchained. <laughs> How funny is that, dude? Look at Django. Give that a good old shakety shake. Be serving hot cake. Cool, put that on. 
already. Now let's just go in here. So I don't this one put it on the side. In there, so we're just kind of spraying them in real quick. Just to give it a little bit of a shimmer once we do our white white. It'll look like some of it's kind of breaking up there. Just to give everything some effects. With the Pro, will you be using candy yellow? No, I'm not using candies. I didn't say anything about like candies. So I would literally say everything I'm doing as I'm doing it. And if I don't say I'm doing that, I'm probably not doing that. So don't don't be one of those people that adds words into my mouth when I ain't saying those words. So all I did was mix it with some 4052 matte, mixed in some pearl silver, and we're giving ourselves some digital camo designs that will shimmer with the light once we put our other colors uh, underneath that. RC bodies, you gotta spray backwards. You gotta, you gotta think outside the box. You gotta think reverse. So you're laying the topmost effect down and then working your way back. So if I wanna do candy, I think I would've done candy first and then a color and then so on and so forth. Um, but this guy wanted the same colors he had, so that's what he's getting. Those colors are white, fluorescent yellow, raspberry, and black. Hot cake, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, you know, for the most part, I will say everything I'm doing. Um, you know, it keeps all the questions out of it. And if, like I said, if, if you think for a second that I did something, but I didn't show it, it's probably because I didn't do it. Samuel L. quote. What movie? The other guy's movie. All right. I don't think I've seen that movie. I didn't even know Samuel Jackson was in that movie. Samuel Jackson's the man, son. Not gonna lie, I like me some Samuel Jackson. He's pretty cute. <laughs> Even though, yeah, most of the movies he does is just yell. He's still, I'd have him yell at me any day, son. He just seems like a cool guy in person, not like this movie. He just seems like he'd be pretty chill.
Marky Mark is in that too? Oh wait, he's one of the main characters. Never mind. What am I talking? I know the Marky Mark. I always think of Marky Mark back in the day, you know. The rapper, singer, whatever you want to call him. So all I'm doing is adding some pearl flat right along the edge of our jaggeds here so that when we add our black, it has an even extra more of a contrast than it gets the black because it'll shimmer a nice pearly color. Breaking off towards the back, have that fast, that fast kind of feeling, you know? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and in a separate airbrush. And I really want to test um, if this holds up a little stronger, uh, the 4052, as opposed to just regular Createx colors and I kind of want to see if um, there's any difference in the durability or if it's about the same or better or if the guys notice not I don't know we'll see if we get any feedback Ashley Thompson with that generic skull she's trying hard bro I get, I, I like that you're trying. You gotta have that real skull like Dennis though. That's the only skull that's, that's, that's the real one. <laughs> yeah, those skulls right there. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Drop those ones. Those Createx colors. Oh, that looks good. I like it. <laughs> Why you guys gotta flex on Ashley like that, yo? <laughs> Alright, so I've mixed up some white, some, some regular white. And actually, hold the phone. Oh yeah, I did. I did put, I did put pearl on the edge on that one too. Good, so we can just keep moving on. And I'm just gonna bring white. Going going towards the back, and I'm going to kind of lay it in streaks. towards the back.
cool. Get out, PC. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> Alright, Ashley, my bad. Ashley, bro. It's it's not very common I meet a guy named Ashley, okay? So, my bad. And yeah, you wouldn't have that one because you're not a member of the Skull Squad. That's, that's, I believe that's what the guys were trying to emphasize. And that's what I was trying to tell you. I believe you could sympathize with me when I say it's very rare you meet a guy named Ashley. Because you've probably never met another guy like yourself named Ashley. And if you have, I hope you took a picture of this. Very rare. Ashley is not is only gender neutral if it's a last name. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Evil Dead. I don't watch movies, bro. How many, Dennis? You must know this about me that I do not watch many movies, sir. You, you should know this. <laughs> cool. So we got that all in there. So from here, I think we're gonna lay some fluorescent metal. So I believe, I believe I can fly. I believe we have it all set in the bottle already. Right? Yeah, so we can just hook up. sake of easiness we can use we got all these bottles of flour yeah Dennis is, is also one of those lanes People just call you Ash. Man, your mom your mom named you that? Your mom, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, because I mean she could have named you whatever she wanted. It's her choice, right? But at the same time, it's like, damn lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, you know? <laughs> you just gotta say it. Yeah, dude, if I, I'd just be like, Thompson! Come here, Thompson! Yeah, I, I would try to keep your name secret. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. You know? There, that's a movie I've watched, Dennis. A Boy Named Sue. Oh, yeah. I like that song. See, now you're talking more my language, my guy. Turn the air pressure up a little bit.
I kind of like Ash more, but Lee's also a good one, you know. They call you Thomo, what? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. I, I don't think I've ever watched Evil Dead, so I don't know. Dennis is probably over there just hating me right now. He's like, this guy, we've never seen Evil Dead. What the fuck? I do like movies, I just... Uh, it's just one of those things where usually I watch a movie and then like... To me, like that was it, right? I watched the movie. I don't, I don't really need to remember everything about the movie. Certain movies are, are so impactful, they stick with me, like Avengers Endgame, right? That, that movie was so impactful, I was like, oh shit, I was talking about it, and I was like, so amazed, and you know, oh, that looks cool with the shimmer breaking up. Cool. So, again, let that dry for a little bit, and then we'll put some white backer on that fluorescent, and now we're going to put fluorescent on this. Yeah, I mean, usually what I used to do right before doing like how I'm doing now is, right, you guys see this stream, this screen over here with the chat. Um, usually I'd have a movie going or have my YouTube videos or Netflix or whatever it is on there, you know, I'm working. Even in the garage, I have one of those uh, Alexa Echo devices, and uh, you know, I'll just tell Alexa open Prime Video, and I'll just like you know find a good you know stand-up comedy. Like the stand-up comedy is the best for me when I'm working, because I can just listen and I can laugh in my head, and, and I don't have to like see what's happening. So I, I do watch a lot of stand-up or listen to a lot of stand-up. Oh, 
and I do I do definitely appreciate movies as an art um, doing the stream and like all these videos and stuff and look at the goddamn autofocus man how could nobody tell me about the autofocus was on um, it makes you appreciate it a whole lot more when when you're actually like doing it and and in there right and like doing the videos it makes you appreciate like how much work goes into that But I'm also the guy that I'll watch a movie and I'll be pointing out all the plot holes. That itchy, itchy nose, man. You know, if somebody does something stupid in the movie that irritates me, I'll be like, yo, why is that guy acting stupid? Why doesn't he just run away? Or why is he going back? You know, and be like, fuck that. that, that's not real life. People don't do that in real life. This is, this is more complex than the truck. I don't know. I think at this point, I prefer doing the RC bodies from the inside. I think I find it easier. At this point, than doing them from the outside. Is that weird? And I feel like I've got it down to where I could just... Kind of like play around with the inside and I get these cool effects and stuff. Kind of like a t-shirt. I've kind of got it to where I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to blah, 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 you know, and then it's like, whoa, that looks cool. <laughs> anyway, um, turn the pressure back. on the back and the pressure is too far down
cool. So we got that backed up now. Let's see how bright that is. Well, oh, you can see on this camera, look, on that camera, you can see how bright that is. If I bring it close, look, it's going to lose the color. It turns into a dull yellow if I bring it close. But from far away, you can see it's fluorescent yellow. It looks cool. Estaría bien que hicieras un algún directo en idioma castellano, gracias. Es que nadie habla castellano, por eso yo no hablo castellano en los directos, porque nadie llega. Y la gente que llega, solamente llegan a decir que debería de hablar en español. Por favor, Mike, haz más videos en español. Por favor, Mike, habla más en español. Pero nunca llegan y me preguntan algo que es lo que toda la gente en inglés están haciendo. O sea, si quieren que hable español, me tienen que hablar en español. Quieren que nomás esté aquí hablando solo en español. Sí, en vez de preguntarme algo sobre aerografía, vas a aprender inglés. How bright that fluorescent yellow looks. It looks really good. Cool. So now we can take off our masking. And we're just going to have a big ball of trash over here today that I have to pick up when I'm done. Fluorescent pops, yeah, hell yeah, it does. It's like fluorescent yellow and hot pink. Fluorescent pink are like the most poppiest poppy colors you could ever use. It's hot pink and hot yellow you put these on a shirt or anything and people will try to avoid looking at the shirt but they're gonna look regardless if they want to or not their eyes are gonna be like what is that <laughs> it, it just no matter what dude I know because my eye does it I try to avoid looking at stuff that's bright colored but my eye just wants to see it just wants, what is it? What is that thing that is so bright? You know, my eye is just like, what is it? What is this a cosa? What it is? I have to see. I, I gotta go look. What is it? Mm -hmm. 
See, there you go. We got the, the jaggedies all here. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to add a little black shadow coming off of these. Maybe some stripes going forward. Just a little bit of black. Not too much. And then we're going to add the raspberry front. And then I think I'm going to cut out an edge of here. The windows, we're going to line the windows with raspberry as well. I think that'll look, that'll look pretty clean once we're all done. And then we can move on to today's cool project, which would be the Corvette liner. Go from working on an RC vehicle part to a real car part. The fluorescent blue and raspberry. Yeah, I like raspberry. But like raspberry over hot pink? Nah. Hot pink all day. <laughs> You have only used candy and pearl at the moment. What are you starting with? Why? That's like backwards. I've never used the, the standard traditional colors. I just went full, full ham and got myself the candy colors and some pearls. What are you trying to paint? I mean, I guess it would make sense if, like, all you want to paint is, like, uh... I don't know. I can't even think of anything. Because, <laughs> yeah, no matter what, you're eventually going to have to use the other colors. Like, you got to use a base color. If you want to do artwork, you got to use the standard colors. I don't know, man. What are you trying to paint? What are you painting that, that, that all you... That's what you bought? Or, or how did you get those? Or... Why? Why? That's 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 the question. Why did you start with candies and pearls? Mother's Day gift, biker Betty boot back. Yeah, raspberry fluorescent it looks really good. Not gonna lie. The cool thing, see, I don't know if any of you know this is uh, the cool thing about all the fluorescent colors is that you, they're UV reactive. So, yeah, helmets, I guess helmets would work. But if you're only doing like designs and stuff, like graphic taping, I guess. Oh, he said guitars? Yeah, I guess guitars are kind of like helmets. If you're only doing like taping type stuff and graphics, I guess that would make sense. In a way, you eventually do like what if somebody asks for a color that's not candy like they just want like a turquoise you know but they don't want it pearly or you know anything they just want a nice turquoise color with like a snake or something in there, which is the type of job that i would probably end up getting you know? that's the kind of jobs land around here people just you know not everybody is flashy gaudy Got him! Got him! Guitars, huh? I don't see where he said guitars. The surface would react well to Pearl. What? The surface? I mean, the Pearls look good on anything, even on this lady. You could... Barely, they're like ghosted. It's like ghosted in camo designs, breaking off to the back. I like that stuff. I think that's why I like the RC bodies, really. Cause everything is everything is shiny. Al rato, nos vemos. Ojalá y aprendas muy bien el inglés. Para que me puedas preguntar preguntas, porque, o sea, las preguntas no vienen en español. <laughs> the guitar surface, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The fluorescent colors, okay, yeah, cool, I guess. You gotta have a customer that wants it. It wouldn't make sense to use it just because. So, yeah, my bad. I just thought you, you didn't, you meant like you never used all the colors. 
You, you said you had uh, candies and pearls. I just assumed that's all you used. That is my bad. See, now, now I'm putting words in your mouth. You see? See? This is when you gotta say, shut up, that's not what I said. Uh, what do we got? What is this? Pearl? Uh, do we need any more pearl? I don't believe we need any more pearl. No. Just a little pearl coming off the nose. This is a good. Right over the where the raspberries can go, just a little bit of pearl there, Perfect. just to make it extra poppy. You know what I'm saying? It's like the plow. You gotta get the plow in there. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Bro. I'm not worried, bro. I'm never worried. I thought we mixed up some black. No, we haven't used black today. Out. All the colors are just falling everywhere. Is it back? All right, I think it's back. Yeah, I don't know, bro. The freaking internet went out or something. I just looked over and it said it was reconnecting. I'm like, what? I don't know. And then it just came back on its own. I didn't even do anything. I just went to go look at the internet to see if the internet was still up. The internet was still up. I come back, it's on. It's working, bro. These are the dangers of doing it live. Yeah, with that data cap, bro. The data cap's gonna get you. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of black here. And we're just about at the end of this 4052 bottle. Rest in peace. But that just goes to show how much I like this stuff. That it's gone. Rest in peace, bottle of that. Um, then we're gonna take some black here. Fue el cucuy, yeah, el cucuy. So I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of black with that 4052. It's crazy, dude. I was like, what the hell happened? Because it has happened before. See, the reason I could stream and stream for so long is that the internet lines here did get upgraded a few while, a little while ago, and so we have pretty good internet. I could, I, have, I would say we have pretty good internet. Um, it's expensive, but we have internet, and it like never cuts. Like we never have internet cutting. You know? It used to happen a lot back in the day when we used to do the streams back when. And I used to feel really lucky if I got a whole stream. And like nothing happened, I was like, oh yeah, that, that was good, you know. But there was a while there where I couldn't even stream because the, the streams were cut out. Or I could only do like a certain speed, even though I had like higher speed. If I did it so much at a certain speed, it would end up dying. But now, you know, now everything goes pretty smooth. So again, we're just gonna add these black streaks going in towards the front. government bro they put me on some watch list because I was watching UFO shows man <laughs> oh. oh no 
you were talking to Easy Airbrush. Oh man, I remember that shit. Easy Airbrush knows all about this beta cap. Streaks going forward. Nothing too crazy. Man, I just. I'm just being all over the place today with this stuff. Just because these bodies, they're so light, bro. You just go like that. <laughs> You've only been doing it for about 12 months. So look, here's the way my brain works, right? You, I see that you say you saw it for 12 months. And to me, it's like, okay, cool. But I'm wondering why you said 12 months and I just said, ah, I've just been doing it for one year. That's the way my brain works. I don't know why. It's like, why did you go the long route? And why didn't you just be like, I've been doing it for one year. I don't know, I don't think it really matters, but I just, my brain is like red flags here. What's going on? Why 12 months? Is that stupid? I think my brain is stupid. going forward got the nice contrast between the black and the white there um, we're just gonna keep on keeping on here So raspberry color. Which I either have my love or it's already in a bottle. I gotta be absolutely sure. Oh, it's a UK thing. Cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's add some raspberry. Flush out this yellow.
bro, look at this song. This song, what the hell? Shit's supposed to go down. Now we're back to chill. that dry and I'm gonna take my blade and cut the edge here of the windows so that we can add a raspberry trim what I'm talking about we're just gonna cut out you see that little line so that we can get raspberry right around that edge of these windows because that's super important when it comes to how fast your RC is is make sure it has all the trimmings done <laughs> He's a parent. This is 48 months instead of four. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> uh, should I do it on the front window? The front window is already going to have raspberry. Nah, let's not do the front window. Because the front window is already going to have raspberry all the way around. It seems kind of pointless. So we got those there. And that's really what's gonna bring the, the like, all the colorfulness to the back is this raspberry mixed in with the fluorescent yellow. Where is everyone from? <laughs> Dennis, with the most generic answer ever. The US. <laughs> I like it, bro, I like it. Cool, yeah, we're just gonna do the side windows. The front windows obviously already gonna have raspberry all the way around, so it doesn't, that doesn't really matter. We're just gonna make sure we spray the raspberry into these back windows here.
<laughs> they aren't all super nice. Oh no. good with the pearl that we put up there oh yeah oh yeah looks really nice look at that mm -hmm. I'm trying to get to it actually I should just show it like this because that looks way better <laughs> look at that you can see, oh, there you go. You can see the pearl effect a little bit there you go that's kind of that that's that on there I'll let that all dry up and then put a, some backer on it, some back, black backer. Oh my gosh, why can't I say that? This crazies love the Spanish accent. Oh. some of that white we had and I'm gonna back up some of that fluorescent raspberry and here goes the rest of this all bye bye Gosh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> is that how Chicago is sound? How you doing? Grab me a deep dish, eh? <laughs> I added the A because you're Canadian. <laughs> how you doing? Grab me a deep dish, eh? <laughs> That's me doing Rob Martin's impression of Dennis. Me impersonating Rob Martin impersonating Dennis. So, how you doing? Grab me a deep dish, eh? <laughs> that's too much dude that's too much too much
white back on the raspberry then I could just go out when I before when I'm ready to go outside again I'm gonna just take the big gun and lay some black back around here <laughs> How's the lockdown treating everyone? So, lockdown was initially really bad for me um, there's quite a few things I had planned that went down the drain um, I can't even mention all of them because some of them still might happen but they were on the verge of happening when all this stuff started going on I lost a lot of business I also was not able to paint at events blah 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 a bunch of stuff man down the drain and then now we like we did business adjustment i guess and uh now we've been doing a lot of like little stuff like this um with a little bit faster turnaround i guess because before it would have maybe taken me a little bit longer um, but yeah yeah, now that I've adjusted and we, business kind of going good, we got a few a couple of vehicles to paint. Um, we've got obviously a bunch of stuff like this uh, kind of coming, coming and going out of here. And so yeah, so that's pretty much it on these guys. I'm gonna lay black backer and then clear them, um, you know, off stream because I have to do that outside with the big gun. So I'll just let those dry off to the side over there. And then I'll grab the next project we have to work on, as well as get myself a drink real quick. So, if you guys do not mind, I am going to do that. And I'm going to play the giveaway video while I do that. Um, again, if you're new around here and don't know so much you know what, what's going on with the channel right now we have a giveaway going i'm gonna play the video you guys can join up and i'll be right back with my drink and the next project that we're working on today so so what's up guys here's the mike's brush care package giveaway we're giving away an awila revolution cr we're giving away two mike's brush stencil kits Two, snapback hats so you can customize in your own time. Five sheets of white and five sheets of black cardstock paper so you have something to practice on. We're giving away one Spider-Man painting to go along with all of that so you have some inspiration to hang on your wall while you're painting. Createx has decided to help us out with this giveaway. They're throwing in one two ounce primary paint set for the lucky winner. HD Stencils has also stepped up and they're gonna send you a three stencil package worth over $150 for you to get good at airbrushing right away. So even if you've already entered, make sure you check the link again 
there's new ways to enter. Make sure you get all those finished up, get you all your extra entries in. This is all possible thanks to you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching the videos. If you like watching the videos and want to see more like this, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and consider joining the channel as a Skull member and get those exclusive perks only available to channel members. I don't know when I'm gonna do this giveaway again, so make sure you go and you sign up now for a chance to win the care package of a lifetime. It could be your way to getting your airbrush skills boosted up. Thank you to Create Text Colors for helping out with the giveaway. Thank you to HD Stencils for helping out with the giveaway. Thank all you guys for watching and all the support that you guys show to this little airbrush channel. So good luck to all of you. We'll see you guys June 10th when the winner gets picked. Later. Alrighty. <laughs> you just go by friends for the accent reference. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna take this. So here's our liner, right? And this goes like across the back window. Um, it's like stretched out on there. As you can see, it has the Corvette logo on there. All right, so this guy, he's like, this car is amazing. <laughs> so it, it is like an amazing ass car, right? So he's like, when I open the back hatch and I show my car, cause it is, it's, it's a Corvette show car, I guess. Um, he's like, I want there to be a shark, just like there is on the front. Right, so that's what we're going to paint today. So I think I got that pretty centered on there. It's a sick ass car. He has a custom license plate that says shark on it. And, oh bro, it is sick. Like it is, it is awesome. John Leguizamo stand up. He's from Brooklyn. You putting some work in today, bro. I put work in every day though. Like <laughs> that's the thing. Today I just decided to stream it. Um, but like, this whole week has been, this whole week, this whole past like two weeks has been pretty crazy. Oh, my arms are tired, bro. That's all I could say. And so let me pick up the, the picture he sent here.
cool. So. You gotta clear your schedule for what? What are you clearing your schedule for? All right, I got the picture here. Let's uh, get you guys proper. Cool. And yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much freehand it in. have some white here and I have my revolution and I'm going to kind of just go ahead dry tip a little bit. <laughs> oh, because of the stream. And we could always come back and watch it later. I mean, if we had plans, bro, don't let me stop you from your plans. So this guy really liked how the light on the previous picture was kind of shining through. Thought it was pretty slick, and so he wanted more of that. You do the shark on the hood. We did the shark on the hood liner, on the in, in, inner hood liner. <laughs> you think you think I'm that good of a host? You think I'm? Nah, I just try, man. It, it makes it fun for me too. So, 
What's up, Martin? Yeah, man, we ain't here getting down. That's what's gonna suck when lockdown's over, missing stream time. So, yeah. I will probably, you know, because it's also gonna change my schedule is when lockdown's over. So, not gonna say there won't be as many streams because there will probably still be tons of streams, um, but they'll probably be a little more rare. They'll be a little more concise and to the point because my time won't be as uh, free. You know? So I'll make sure that when I have the stream to do, I do it and get on. You know, like move on. But try to make it as best as possible. So. But there will probably be a lot more videos. So it will probably become a lot more worth it to become a channel member as the summer, summer gets here and as hopefully this coronavirus uh, stuff starts kind of cooling down as we all start getting back to life. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, so this is the rear liner for like a, Cor a Z06 Corvette. I'm not even sure the year, dude. It is the sickest Corvette I've ever seen. It's like, it's dope. And then this is like the rear window, like kind of like cover thing for their trunk. It sits on the rear window. And this guy's whole thing is that it's all a, it's all a shark. It's shark, it's a shark silver gray. That's what's wrong. That pinhole looks like it's clear, but it's not. Okay. Let me get paint, Mr. Pinhole. See this little pinhole at the top? If you don't have it cleared out, man, it'll cause some nightmares. It's quite important. Quite important. It looked like it was clear, like it literally looked like it was clear, but it obviously wasn't. <clears throat> much better. Go hard, huh?
What's up, Nick? Some, blue, some white around so that we can lay blue on to make the water because he doesn't want the water so just like we did on the on the hood liner he's gonna want um, this part and I don't definitely hope he's he's okay with bringing it back so I can show you guys the car yeah, I was kind of silly <laughs> when he brought the car. I, I was just so much in shock. Uh, I, uh, I totally forgot to take any kind of video picture or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was just silly to think about. I was starstruck over a car at my life. Well, when you guys see the video of the car, if he brings it back, um, you'll see why. Is this chair comfy enough? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> this the same reference for the hood liner? No. No. I don't even think that would be a good idea to have the same picture. No, this time it's a, it's an actual picture picture that he pulled off the internet. The owner emailed me this picture. Of. I mean, and I assume he pulled it off the internet. Honestly, he he could be this could be a picture he took. I don't know. You got to take pics of it though. Like I, I forgot, dude. I totally forgot to take pics. I was just like, oh my god, your car is amazing. Oh, look at this. And oh, carbon fiber. And wow, it's supercharged. Yes. Oh, 
Okay, give me one sec. Let's go get you something good. <laughs> <laughs> Snack break. Yeah, she has to have, like, she's like, I finished my breakfast, you know. Uh, so we give her a fruit popsicle, she's happy. All nice. All nice like. Look at him all nice. Alright, now let's lay some colors in and then we can come back and lay some highlights. So, <clears throat> well, that 4052 is all out, right? So. We are going to have to break open the big bottle. And watch out. Get out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so we're going to take some of this amazing 4052 matte clear. It's ultraviolet light stabilizing water based acrylic aliphatic polyurethane, bro. If you want to get all technical with it. So I'm gonna just add some of that into the white that we were using. I'm gonna take some Createx Illustration. Oh, this is a light blue, okay. Illustration light blue. Which, I, this like almost matches perfectly with the reference picture. You will have to sell a kidney to get one of them big bottles. They're not that expensive. Uh, this, 32, right? It's 32 ounces. 32 ounces, I think, was 70 something dollars. So it's not too, too bad. <laughs> and, it, like, that big bottle will last me through quite a few projects, so I'll make my money back uh, over the projects, you know. It's not like one single project has to pay for that. Because then, yeah, it, it would be hard. Which line of Createx paint should I get for shirts? The original line, just Createx airbrush colors if you're doing shirts. 
and you don't need reducer either. So just avoid buying reducer. If all you're doing is strictly shirts. A lot of people say, you know, you throw a little reducer in with the black or something helps the flow, but all you're doing is <clears throat> ensuring the paint will not stick as well. Adding reducer to the airbrush colors and then spraying it on a shirt and pressing it. And just For some reason, the adhesion is not quite all the way there. So I would always say if you're working on shirts, uh, keep your pressure a little bit higher, 45, 50 PSI, and Createx airbrush colors straight out of the bottle is the best way to go. Make sure you heat press it for at least 60 seconds. Uh, you know, I do two 30 second rounds of 350 degrees. Yeah, just the paint by itself. That's what I said. Just create text out of the bottle, put it into your airbrush, and spray it. That's how these, you see these bottles right here? With these uh, airbrushes. These bottles in here that I used, used to use a lot for the stream is just create text on reduce. So. Right, I'm just gonna go in and start laying the base. For my blue. If you don't have it, a no steam iron and a dryer for 45 minutes. Mine hasn't faded yet after two weeks. Yeah, if, if there's other ways. Like, you just got to get it nice and hot. An iron is, is not ideal, but it'll work if you spend enough time just sitting there pressing the shirt. Getting the shirt really hot like, to the point where you almost feel like you're going to burn the shirt. Um, it'll work really good. My best recommendation is getting a press. It'll save you time and effort. And you'll get the best that you can ever in a shirt will last a lifetime. Really. Interesting color blends. Yes, it's the sh the color is called shark silver. That's why this the, the guy keeps putting s sharks on it. He has a shark on the hood liner, and now this, and then he's talking about doing some some other stuff to it in the future. So, and his license plate has shark on it. Like his whole thing is shark, right? So. that in there into that same little mix that we have going 
I'm just gonna throw in some deep blue. Carlos, saludos y gracias. Right, I'm gonna add a little bit more 4052 because it was running low. But I do want to mix it in a little bit with that light blue to give us a kind of a, a medium blue. <clears throat> uh, Grim Reaper, what are you talking about, Grim Reaper? When I was asked, when I was asked was for Green Reaper. Okay, cool. <clears throat> on your big TV and PS4, you really see the detail. This guy, he has me going on the big screen, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> it's going to feel like I'm really there, dude, when I say that. We got a different blue there. Right. And we're just gonna kind of lay that in on the edges. Kind of bring it in a little bit. Right. Black, the illustration black. Jaws. Chat on your phone and you on the big screen. This guy's balling out over there at his house. Look at it. Look at it. Pretty soon he's gonna be like, yeah, and I got the smartwatch handling my, my text messages. You know, we're gonna be like this guy over here flexing in the chat. <laughs> Ain't that the way we all watch 70 inch or better? Damn right. This, this is North America, right? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take some of this black here. And I found that the illustration black kind of goes through the Sotar pretty well enough that I can get the details I need. Um, so we're just going to kind of go ahead and start building up some of the details here. No, I'm no James Bond. It's Dick Tracy. <laughs>
¿Qué tamaño es una punta para detallar? De cualquier tamaño sirve. I will probably have to say Richard so it lands in the comments. Yes. You gotta say Richard Tracy, bro. And then we all have to figure out who you're talking about. <laughs> So one thing I need to do right here, one thing I do see right now that could be a little better is this. I figured out how to get to the settings of my camera, bro. Look at that. Look at this stream. Looks so professional. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Like now if your boy could only keep from cursing every five seconds, it'd, it'd be good. But I think that's why a lot of you guys come here because I'm not all trying to be Mr. fucking Disney. Uh-huh, you guys ready? We're gonna paint some stuff today, you know? <laughs> I do, I try to be, you know, as, as Mr. Disney as I can, but at the same time, Sometimes the, the colors gotta shine through, bro. <laughs> Just do you, bro. <laughs> so always what I do is me. Wait, that sounds wrong. You know what I mean, though. little happy sharks no we don't want happy sharks bro. that's that's the wrong one we want little mean sharks you got a little happy hungry sharks or happy <laughs> I don't know darken up the edge and kind of kill the kill the overspray a little bit 
the nice thing about working on black is you can just go back and spray some black you get a little overspray or whatever but even if you don't it's nice to just go back and black out around the edge Good. What is, it, is your computer on or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, go play. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh my gosh. Have fun, okay? I think she's like, I'm ready to do stuff now, you know, come on. <laughs> Oh, we got all that in there. Just taking one good last little look. So now we can set that aside. That's, that's the blue. I thought we had white somewhere. Do we need white? Or do we mix the blue into the white? Is it in this one? Okay, so I'm going to dump out the revolution. some white. What's what that's what the cops said when I was a kid, graffiti artist. They asked my mom, why don't I paint angels? Bro, that cop is ignorant. It's almost saying. Um my daughter, right, she's four, she's gonna be five here next month, right? The day the giveaway's over, she turns five. She watches all kinds of stuff, right? She's like on YouTube, but she's very selective. Like we don't really have to pick stuff for her because she already just watches kind of cartoons and stuff. We do go in there and like make sure every now and then, you know, that she's on the good stuff. And for the most part, she stays on whatever, you know, uh, on her cartoons that she likes and stuff. But uh, she can draw, right? She can draw pretty good, like really good. But here's the thing. She could draw whatever she wants. Right? I've, I've had her be like, draw me a, a dog. And she'll draw a little dog, a little this, a little that. And then, you know, be like, okay. You know, walk off, come back later. And she'll still be sitting there drawing, be like, what did you draw? And she goes, I drew some monsters. Right? Like, she's like, I drew this monster, he's eating that monster. Or she'll be like, I drew these guys, they're fighting, you know, and here's some fire and stuff like that, you know. And it's just like, cool. But I'm not going to ask her, like, why don't you just draw this? Why don't you just draw that? That's, that's this thing. That's dumb. I like that she draws whatever she wants. So not everybody has to draw angels or not everybody has to draw skulls. Not everybody has to do fire. 
And even if you do, not everybody has to do it the same. See? See what I'm saying? I had nothing to do with that one. Um, yeah, I don't even know, bro. The internet's not going out or nothing. It's just like cutting out. Ugh, man. Anyway. <laughs> that's pretty cool though yeah I mean that's that's what a lot of people do they just draw whatever's happening around them right so Also, which fins did you mean? Did you mean like these side fins, these top fins, these the top fin, like these bottom fins? Because those would always be pointed down. These kind of always gotta go sideways, don't they? Like I don't understand. The flipper fins on the side, these sides right here? I didn't know that, that's interesting. So pretty much when this shark had its picture taken, it was A-OK, -okay because it was just chilling. This is a chilling shark. A chilling, a chilling shark. Oh my God, chilling. home for lunch already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize what time it was. The real baby shark. <laughs> What's up, Richie? What's up, James? 2110 in the UK. What time is 2110? 10? 10? 10? No. 810. 
9, 10. Somewhere around there, 10. What's up, James? Todd? Got sidetracked. <laughs> you just got home from work. Nice, nice. Look at that light effect on the shark's back. Yeah, this is pretty. This is pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Oh, the, the real Air Todd has joined the chat. Look at the Air Todd with the skull. That's the only real one. said that he really liked about the last one was the light rays coming through so we're gonna have to make sure to add some like about the light rays is that they almost look like searchlights so like if you're like a military guy or something it's kind of like you're you're being like covert ops you know like navy seal type shit shark in the water So now your skull ain't good enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't update YouTube on the iPad. Oh man, that sucks. 
you can't see the comments on the Facebook one. Oh my gosh. That's a $25 job, right? Ah, this guy's funny. This guy's so funny. Oh wait, yeah, I remember Rude Dog. Rude Dog is the one that says everything has to have a highlight. So that's why, you know, he probably charges them highlight prices. $25. I honestly think if I told this guy $25 for this, he would look at me like I'm crazy. He would legit be like, Are, what? Are you sure? Like 20, like that's all? 20, what? Like, no. <laughs> I don't even think he would accept it. He would end up just like tipping me or something like crazy. I don't think that would work. For this. I don't think it would work for him. <laughs> what do you mean I won't add highlights to a name on the shirt? You missed the part of the stream where I did the first shirt and I added highlights to it. And then I did the second design and the second design looked quite fine without highlights. Not every single shirt has to have highlights, my guy. Not every single name on a shirt has to have highlights. I don't know where you think you, you, you is that everything has to have those white highlights because that's not true. You don't need a stencil people to do a raise of light. You just need a piece of paper. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Daniel Nikiel. Um, highlights pop, just the fact. Yeah, you know what pops better though? A well-made design that doesn't need a bunch of shitty ass highlights. Facts, bro. Some of the best places I've worked, we don't put highlights. We put a lot of other colors. We make the design pop within itself. And then the white highlights, we look at it at the end and be like, eh, does it need it? Does it really need it? A lot of designs don't really need that. Not every design has to have white highlights. Simple. That particular design did not need white highlights. There was already white shimmer on the heart. It looked really good. Like it would have just, it would have just made it look like gaudy. I don't know. Too much, too much icing, bro. You ever get a cake and it's too damn sweet? That's that kind of stuff. Not every shirt needs twelve layers of icing. Oh. <laughs> You like the artificial shine look, I guess? I guess, bro. I don't know. Hacks need highlights to hide their mistakes. J-Rod was the king of highlights. If you watch J-Rod's work, it, it was not so much about highlights for him. It was about making stuff look round or like glassy. You know, he was achieving a look. It was not just about like, oh, it's shiny. Like, no, he, his work was about to actually like, making stuff in a shape or making stuff look like it's actually like glass or like shining not just like a highlight just because you know that doesn't make sense not that does that's not how it is you know not everything has a freaking highlight on it and not everything needs it it's missing its top teeth oh you can't see him in the reference so i'm not gonna add him in i mean i can't bro you're making me self-conscious about the sharks and this guy did say he wanted to look fierce but you know what? I don't know. I feel like adding these top two is going to be a mistake. 
because I do agree with you. Uh, you know what? I could add them in and then subdue them a little bit. So they're like shaded in. So they'll be there, but not really be there. That one I do agree with you, bro. <laughs> Air Todd makes a little more sense, I think. Uh, let's see here. We got that one. That one's a good black right here. Yeah, and who explained it earlier that this shark this shark is relaxing because his fins are to the side. They're not down. So this shark is relaxing. So he, he might be a grandpa shark, bro. Not going to lie. Anyway, the reference picture the guy sent me, the, the teeth, you can't see him. It's completely black. And actually, you can see like double layer of bottom teeth. So. Again, this is one of those things of drawing what you see and not what you know. But that looks pretty good. You guys are killing me in the chat today, bro. Killing me. There you go. Paint a leg in his mouth. No, dude, why would I do that? That's the most retarded idea. This is going on a Corvette, dude. It would, that would just be the most... Yeah. He's like the douche at the comedy club that heckles but doesn't realize he's not as funny and just pissed everyone off. Yeah, pretty much. What's up, RC Mass Master? RC Rue? Are you guys the same guy or is that two different accounts? I don't know. Um, Bobby Litford, Airman. Or airman. Uh, it has the presence that's menacing enough from the look of how it's holding its space, man. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Cool. Uh, if Air if Air Todd approves, it's approved, bro. It looks good. Um, here, let me get you guys. Let me get you guys in here. A little closer look. The actual shark there you guys go yeah that looks really good um and yeah like how the guy that owns the guy was explaining the reason he likes these pictures of the up close shark kind of in the water is kind of like if you were the the guy swimming and then you looked under the water and you seen the shark this close it would be too late for you to do anything besides let that shark have its way you, know what I'm you could try to fight it off but the shark's gonna have its, its way especially a great white shark like these um, you know it's not really gonna it's not gonna sit there and be like oh let me see if you could wiggle away like no nah, it's the, you know or he's not gonna it's not gonna be a challenge for him like let's see how far this swimmer can go like that nah, it's it's over at that point your lunch that's what he was telling me about his car, you know, like a lot of people try to creep up on him, but by the time they realize he just hits that gas pedal, he gone. <laughs> yeah, Air Todd works at SeaWorld, bro. He knows his sharks, so if he approves, it's approved all the way. It's fire, bro. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. You guys just showed up at the same time. So I was like, what the hell? You guys have almost the same name, but that's cool. Um, you guys missed the RC part of the stream though. It was earlier. Um, we got some RC cars done today. Some regular RC cars like Lexan from the inside. The good, the good nice RC cars. Um, so yeah. Not saying that truck turned out not so nice. Because it did turn out nice. And now I'll show it because now he's probably not watching it. Move back, Mr. Shark. But anyway, here's the truck. And you can see it's all nice and glossy now. You can't really see through the tint. Um, on, 
extreme. But it's it's there. You can see the interior in there. I did this inside part that he also brought. And we did this like really dark gray. It's like an interior cloth gray. Right? We did the inserts on the seats in blue to match the outside. And then this is a flat black to simulate a bed liner when it's on the truck. Um, I still don't know what he plans to do about his windows being all full of gunk and stuff. On the inside, from the stuff he did, that's not really my problem. But the body turned out really good. So, and then earlier today, before you guys got here, we also did uh, these RC bodies here, which actually they show better on, on this camera here. Just a quick little design, nothing crazy. Got the raspberry around the windows. Cool. <sighs> Love the light cutting through the water yet. Let just know that is on the way. Oh my God, James Melton, bro, no. <laughs> he said to let you know the disinfectant's on the way, babe. She wants to know how much she owes you, dude. Uh, looks good, thank you. Killer like that, sorry I missed it. Yeah, I will block you, no problem, anybody. You have seen a shark this close at the shark encounter? Oof, that's crazy, dude. The buggies. How do you deal with people that keep on changing or picking the designs? I don't. I ask people up front what they want, and then once I charge them, and if they try to be like, can you do that? I'll be like, no. I straight up tell people no, that I can't, because I already started, and I started based on what they said. Um, if people change it and they get mad or whatever, like, it's, bro, it's not my problem. Now, if they misspelt something, or something like that, you know. Then that's all right. I, obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> try to fix that. But for the most part, if they change something, it's like, pff, no, sorry, can't do that. Bleach for the misses. Oh yeah. So yeah, to fight someone taking disinfectant out. No way. Oh my, oh, hold on. I gotta move the chat over here. Cause... Ooh. Oh my god, for taking disinfectant out of her car? Oh hell no, dude. What would you have done, babe? <laughs> she says she would have maced the shit out of that person for taking something out of her car. Yeah, that's what contracts are for. I guess, but I don't do contracts. I just go off. Usually nine, nine out of 10 people will message me, right? And then, so then it, when they try to change something, then I just go like, but in your messages, in your messages, it said this. That's, that's that. For real, she goes out, is this your cart? <laughs> Oh, hell no, dude. Ask, don't take, that's the way, eh? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, hell no. I don't know what I would have done, but I probably, yeah. That would have been a rough one. But there you go, guys. Um, that That's what I had to airbrush for today. Um, I gotta go lay the backer on those bodies I gotta clean up all my airbrushes and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for today tomorrow it's back to sanding for me um, there's two vehicles now there's two vehicles now and I had started working on the house bro and now I haven't worked on the house and I've only been working on vehicles and then I gotta do this today which means I get nothing done on the house or the vehicles I could go out there right now and just like kill myself bro but uh, it'll be alright tomorrow's another day um, and yeah 
We'll probably come back. What's today? Tuesday? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll come back on Friday and we'll either have the hood or the trunk to the car ready to go. So that'll probably we'll be what we'll paint on uh, Friday. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, watch out for that on Friday. Um, hopefully you guys can catch that one. It might be like an all day or two. I might start off in the morning and then you know kind of go until we're done and it might take you know good four or five hours i don't know um, it's not the most elaborate painting but it's big like it's a chrysler 300 and the trunk itself is huge the hood is like bro it's like two of my hoods put together or at least a hood and a half so anyway thank you guys again all for watching i hope all of you got signed up for the giveaway um we'll, we won't play that again I'll make sure to only play it once per stream or once per video or whatever the case. Um, but if you guys go, you share that out, make sure you guys signed up. Um, all that good jazz. Later. Have a good day, everybody.